Hello folks, and welcome back to Open Source Tonight. Today folks, what I want to show you is a tool called Time Shift. You can use it to make almost like Windows snapshots, if you will, um, or restore points, I should say, but in Linux. And obviously it's not a Windows thing, but it is in here. So let's go take a look. And yes, I'm not the first person to do a video about Time Shift. We're gonna run it in this virtual machine here. And type in my password and all right. So the recommendation that I have received is to use rsync. So we'll do that. We're gonna let estimate the system size. From what I understand, this is the size of all of the files on the system, excluding basically the home directory. As you can see, there it is, my virtual drive. Let's say next. We can set up different monthly, daily, weeklies, etc. on here. I'm not an expert at this. I'm just now starting to play with it. But so far, it seems good. So, yeah, let's do, why don't we do two a month, two a week, and one daily. Actually, we'll do one a week. Why not? Then we can exclude directory. So let's exclude slash root and slash home slash Vincent Maggard and hit next and finish. We are greeted with this screen once we hit finish. And now the system can go ahead and create a backup. But I want to start this process now. So I'm going to hit the create button. And now it is creating us a snapshot. And we can revert back to this if we have a bad version of a software application installed, a bad Linux kernel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Bad GPU driver, whatever. Basically, all those system level things can be reverted with this, a bad configuration file change, et cetera. So I have just started to use this, but a lot of Linux YouTubers I watch use this all the time, and they seem to like it including uh, different people I've talked to that has used TimeShift. They all seem quite happy. So we're going to let it do its backup here, and that will probably take a little bit of time. But when it's done, it should come up in the little box back here automatically. And that's all we have to do. Now, again, I could have let it done that manually. I didn't need to actually tell it to do this, but I simply chose to do it anyway. So... Another thing that I was pointed out to the other day was this. I can use the CLI. Well, if I can get the, here it is. You can use time shift from the command line as well. And so that's something I will probably be doing. I am looking to definitely use it more. You can get it on almost anything anymore. And the program was created by Tony George. So, folks, we're going to just let this run. But if I minimize this, I don't think I can. I can't edit the settings. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just cancel the running here because I don't need this. It's a virtual machine. Let's go and look at the settings. So, these are stuff that we already looked at pretty much. You can see filters and all that stuff. So, that is the idea we can look at about, we can look at our logs, and, you know, to a point, it just, it seems simple enough. Here's our log file right here. We can take a look at it. So, here it is. This is our log file. You can scroll around and take a look at what it's doing, and there you go. This is actually like the user interface log from the looks of it, actually, but close enough. So anyway, folks, I don't really have much to say about Time Shift. So far, I like it. Other people I respect like it. I would say give it a try on your systems. And everybody, thanks for watching Open Source Tonight. Goodbye, everybody. And action.